21 EDZ anchors, 10 Shattered Realm anchors, 6 Shattered Realm chests. Let us begin. Starting with the EDZ, we have 4 anchors in Trostlin. The best thing to do here, and for the whole video really, is to just follow along on screen. I don't know how much me explaining literally what's happening is really going to help. I guess I will try though. The first one's going to be directly in front of you. The next one is going to be in that little upper level cubby hole thing before the big building. You got another one in the church. And then finally, the fourth is in the back right corner of this area where some fallen spawn in. There are none in the outskirts. Let's keep moving to the Winding Cove. You can just fast travel there. There are going to be three in the Winding Cove. The first is past the gap where the Lost Sector is, where you would drop down into it. And the next one is pretty close to where Zer normally spawns in. The final one is up on a big hill more towards the right. That's going to be a pretty common theme here, up on a big hill. Ride this big tree trunk all the way up, and then get on this big rock for the next anchor. We got nothing in Firebase. Keep moving towards the gulch. Starting from the Gulch drop zone, turn slight right and head forward for this one by a cliff. I'm going to take a really dumb and long route all the way around because I was just looking for more anchors. But the next one is high up on another cliff on the opposite side of the drop zone. And the last one is above the entrance to the Lost Sector. Again, just see the video for the exact location. It's kind of off to the right. Finally, we have one more on the opposite side of this area on the hill. Just climb your way up in order to get it. The next few are on the way to the sludge. The first one being right at the U-turn as you progress from gulch to sludge up on a hill. The next is going to be on your left side as you hit the loading zone for the sludge. And the next one after that will be right in front of you as you enter the sludge from the gulch next to some shipping containers. There is one more in the direction of the spooky forest area in the middle of the sludge. As we are leaving the sludge to go to outskirts, there is one more on a corner turn. Finally, head to Sunken Isles for the final five in this video. These are all along the outer edge of the area, and we're just going to go in a big circle from the drop zone, but turn around first to grab one on the edge of this rocky hill. So that was actually 21. I think there are more than 21 in the EDZ, but I don't think it's by many and you don't need that many for this first week. Moving to the Shattered Realm, things get a little more complicated here and I would absolutely recommend that you have the Barrier perk because you're going to need it. Like, you need it to get all the things. Just be aware that this is the Triumph that can bug out on you and not give you credit for collecting the Anchors as of the release of Season 15. Maybe you want to wait until a fix happens. Uh, maybe you just don't care. Whatever you want to do, I'm just making sure you have that warning. If the bug is fixed and you're watching in Future World, 
uh, then just ignore everything I just said. The first one's a freebie. It's right in front of you as you drop down to the first little combat area. It's pretty tough to miss. The next one's also sort of a freebie. It's right in front of the big slow zone kind of barrier behind this small building near where you drop down after you fight some Taken. The next one is gonna be right above the first beacon in the church. You're gonna need to activate the beacon first, so do that. Then at the opposite side of the building is a barrier breach node. You're gonna activate it and then run back towards the beacon and jump straight up a couple of times. Warlocks, you might need to jump on a broken pillar in order to boost up. Next, we're gonna go back the way we came from and do another barrier breach into this small building. You're gonna drop down, walk the path, and make a left when you come to a gate door looking thing. The next anchor is right there. A chest is down here as well for the trivial mystery. Progress from the anchor and then make a right down the path and pop the chest for the entombed triumph. Then you're gonna wanna leave the way you came in. Don't go out that nearby doorway. It's really annoying to get out. Go back to the church towards the side where the beacon was, and now you're gonna head forward. You should spot an anchor up on a hill ledge looking thing, and then you should keep going up until you hit a slow zone with a small house and a barrier in front of it. Now, I don't think this is the right thing to do, but you can get into this building by activating a barrier breach from outside of the house by getting up on this big rock next to the house, and then that's gonna get you the left behind trivial mystery. Then you're gonna head all the way back towards the beginning towards that first combat area. Back at the first combat area, you should see a cave with a barrier on it. Now, there's a node a lot closer to this door. I used the one from the hut from a couple of anchors ago because I just didn't see the closer one. Get in this cave, and we have a chest and an anchor in here. And again, leave the way you came in. Trust me on that one. We're gonna leave the cave and go off to the right side now and enter this courtyard area. Kill all the garbage and then from where you came into this courtyard area, you're gonna turn right and jump onto some upper floors of this broken house for another anchor. Now I'm pretty sure we need another beacon before we can grab the next chest, which is in this area. So just keep going. You're gonna make a left from the courtyard entrance where you came in. Keep progressing up the path to the next beacon and get that beacon up and running. When you came up the hill before this second beacon, you probably saw a barrier door. Go towards it. The next anchor is on a water mill to the left of this barrier door. As for getting in this building, I jumped on top of and then went over the building to find a barrier breach. Go inside the building for the abandoned chest. Then, refresh your barrier, leave out the main entrance, and go towards the beacon, and then make a right for another barrier doorway. You're gonna find in shadow here, and if you keep going forward, you're gonna hop to a floating island for another anchor. Finally, for the 10th anchor and the 6th chest, we're gonna backtrack to that courtyard. When you came in here initially, you went to the left to progress, now you're gonna go to the right. You're gonna drop down on these ledges and make your way into a cave for that 10th anchor and the 6th chest, although the 6th chest is behind a barrier door. 
then you're you do whatever you want. You can finish it up. You can leave. It's your life. Do whatever you want. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.